Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life with Liz and I'm here planning for the week of August 2nd through the 8th and I'm using this kit from Planner Problem called C. It's super cute um, and I like the kind of more muted but still summery colors. Uh, so to go along with this, I also pulled a few extra things out. I have this washi, this is um from Michaels uh, as a bottom washi and I also pulled out this guy from AliExpress as a bottom washi. And then I pulled these guys, skinny guys from Amazon and then this one from Dollar Tree to be kind of my top washi. So my plan is to stick uh, this one along the top and then I'm going to stick these two on the bottom and then I'm going to come back and I think I'm going to have to cover up a little skinny spot here for um, some additional things once the full boxes are in. I did print the Happy Planner kit. It's a little bit longer boxes and doesn't give me quite as many like functional boxes, but I will have plenty as it is, so that doesn't bother me. Um, so I should be able to cover at least one header and we'll sort that out. I have my whiteout ruler uh, slice tool. So I have whatever I need. I don't even know which of these I need, but I am ready. I'm going to put down that washi and then I'll come back and we can do the interesting bits. All right, that gets us like the basics so far. Um, with my really bright lights, I can see the lines underneath this guy, but I think that's just with my bright filming lights. So I'm gonna just not worry about it. For the full boxes, I have four fishies. I feel like these two go together and those two go together. And then I feel like these and these kind of go together. It's kind of my thought. I think my plan is to use this Nope, I'm going to use this one as my quote box. I don't know exactly why, it just felt like a good idea, so that's what I'm doing. There we go, which means I'm going to use this one on Thursday because it goes along with my quote box, in my opinion. I like to try to match them up, you know? So you can see I have this little gap left. I'm gonna use one of these skinny washies to fill it. I will decide which one when I'm closer to done. Um, I think I'm gonna do these ones next. I don't know why placing these is so difficult today. Although I'll be honest, I kind of feel like crap, so. Maybe that's it. Everything is difficult today. But we're just gonna keep keep going, keep pushing through. I'm gonna use this one here. And this one over here. it on the ground but I saved it so we're okay there we go um I think I want to use this one even though there's no red in the actual kit I think it goes really well so I'm just gonna do it um I'm just gonna go all the way across like I did with the top washi and then I just trim it um, in between and pull up this little scrappy scrap if I can and stick it down somewhere so that it's out of the way. I find this is faster for me when putting down washi than actually 
trimming it to the correct length for each individual section. And the amount of wash I waste is not really concerning to me unless I'm almost at the end of a particular washi, in which case then I will uh, actually do each one separately to make sure that I get to the end of whatever I need to do before I run out of washi. I don't finish washi tapes that often though. I have so many of them and I keep being gifted more, which is great, but also means that my washi collection's a bit out of control. All right, there we go. That's kind of my base all done. And I think it's looking really cute. In terms of the sidebar, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna use this top washi. Even though this is kind of like white background next to white background. I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna put this one down. And then I pulled from my leftovers. These are from a, I think a My Planner Life UK kit, I think. Um, but I feel like they're a pretty good match. Um, I think I'm actually gonna stick a little strip of this skinnier washi in between. I think I have the space, so I might as well. want to make it like as colorful as possible. I don't want it to get too dark over here. Um, so these are going to be, one is for tracking Instagram, which I do, been tracking Instagram for a long time. I don't really need to do it. Um, do I like the yellow or the orange? I think I'm gonna do this color. Uh, these are from Piper Paper Company. I do have a code below uh, to save 20%. If you like, no pressure. I do get a little bit of shop credit back if you use my code. So I appreciate it, but no pressure. You don't have to. <laughs> um, anything like that. Um, then the second one is for tracking my cleaning my cat's teeth. These are from Creative Cavern Studio. I think I'm going to use these. I know they're for dog grooming, but I feel like it kind of goes and I think it's kind of funny um, to include. So this is, this is what I'm going to use. Um, I think that's good enough. Kind of overlaps, but it's fine. I think that we can understand what's happening just fine. Um, then I'm going to use another row of this whiter guy again. Like so. I don't like plan my sidebar out ahead of time. I don't know if that's like a good thing or not. I have this leftover. I want to say this is from like Counting Sheepy maybe. I'm not totally sure. Um, but it is a weekly tracker, but it says spending on the top, obviously, in case that's not super obvious. So I have these leftovers. I think this is from um, Planner One Love. So I'm just gonna take this leftover header and just use it to cover up. It says to cook. We're trying to cook more, be better about cooking, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna stick that down I'm gonna stick another row of this washi because I like it. I do find Dollar Tree washies like a pretty good size for these headers, um, which is great. Then I think I'm gonna take maybe this guy. Put this one down. This is gonna be for whatever my highlight is for this week, which I don't even know what it's gonna be at this point. I don't think we're in for a super exciting week, but I guess we'll see. And then one last little skinny strip of washi. Put this on before I stab myself. That's my sidebar, all done. I think it looks super cute.
for my weekly plans. As you guys have seen a lot since the pandemic started, things are pretty boring. Um, big thing going on in my life is work. So I'm going to use these four and then I'm going to pull, um, I think I'm going to pull this one from my leftovers. It's a little bit different in size, but I don't think it's enough different in size that it's going to go terribly. Um, so I'm going to stick this one on Wednesday. And then I'm going to stick one of the blue ones um, on Monday. And then the other one will be for Friday. Hmm, that's not straight at all. It's like I didn't even try. There we go. That looks a little, a little better at least. And then uh, one of the not blue ones here for Tuesday. Also on Monday, uh, the other big thing I have going on, in which I think I'm gonna use this guy for, is a little half third box situation. Um, I'm gonna put that one in right here. It's for my plan with me. I do have in here, maybe I'll use one of these. These are another Creative Cavern Studio. Um, these are the Aspen binging ones um, for YouTube. It's mostly to watch YouTube, but I think I'm going to use that for my plan with me. Let's see. Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't think we have anything planned. Probably watching the Olympics, to be honest. Let's see. Thursday and Friday, I'm going to fill in with these last two little flags to mark work. like so. And then um, the weekend, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. We'll probably go to the farmer's market, do some grocery shopping. I don't know what else. So this is, I think, all I really know right now. I might put a video up this day, but I haven't decided for sure. So I'm not going to put it in here right now. But I think that's pretty much my pre-plan. I'm sorry that it's so boring today. Um, but stick around for just a second and you can see how the week went and what my finished plans look like. All right, here is the finished week. I love how it turned out. Super cute. I will do like a little wiggle and twerk since it, it, there is kind of like the foiled bottom washi. Um, if I don't mention it, it came from the kit from Planner Problem. I used this full page. Um, as Caitlin says, thank you for your service. I really like that about Planner Problem kits. It's pretty easy for me to use the full thing. Um, especially when I print the Happy Planner version. Um, so this wider washi is from Dollar Tree and then the super skinny one is from Amazon. Bottom washi, the, the bubbles is from AliExpress and then the other one is a, is a Michaels washi, I think. Um, these two uh, habit trackers are from my leftovers, I think from My Planner Life UK but I'm not positive. This is Piper Paper Company. This is Creative Cover Studio. This left over, I think came from Counting Sheepy. And then this script is from Planner One Love. I think, I'm not totally positive. And then this is an itty bitty sticker co, um, Molly. Um, these are both Creative Cavern Studio, Creative Cavern Studio, Creative Cavern Studio, Creative Cavern Studio. I used a lot of her stuff this week. Chasing Shelves, Itty Bitty Sticker Co, uh, Piper Paper Company, Creative Cavern Studio. This came from a leftover from my Nicole Kelly Creations kit from last week. This is from the Agenda 52 book from Hobby Lobby, Creative Cavern Studio, Creative Cavern Studio, that Agenda 51, 52 book. Agenda 52 book from Hobby Lobby, Creative Cavern Studio. Um, this is from a Prairie Planner sampler, Creative Cavern Studio. This box is from that uh, Hobby Lobby book, as is this one and this one. Um, Creative Camera Studio, Creative Camera Studio, and then this is also from that Agenda 52 book at Hobby Lobby. So that's everything. I love how it turned out. Super fun and colorful. Definitely very summery. Um, finishing up just a few more weeks of summery kits and then we get to September and we can finally move into the fall kits, which I'm super excited about because that's definitely my favorite time of year, um, especially for uh, like the vibes. 
so excited for that um, but in the meantime I'm using a few more kind of summery kits or anytime kits that have summer vibes to them um, so let me know down below what kits you're using for fall I am still doing my planning have and finalize all my kits so let me know that I would definitely appreciate it um, and then also like and subscribe if you haven't already I really appreciate it follow me on Instagram at creative life of Liz to see in progress and finished spreads I tag all the shops all that good stuff and until next time bye